Okay, so now that I got that bolt off, we're going to go ahead and take these ones out here. Actually, pretty interested to see what this plate is going to look like. This car just passed 100,000 miles, and to the best of my knowledge, has never had the EGR plate clean. So we'll see. So now you're just going to evenly pull this back, and slide it off the studs. And then from there, you should be able to do the same thing with the plate itself. Let me see if I can get a better view here. Okay, so now you just kind of keep some tension on this, and you're going to want to wiggle the plate off. And keep it straight so it comes off evenly, doesn't mess with any of the threads on the studs. So, if you can see here, that is the EGR plate. Not actually quite as bad as I expected, but it's very oily, which doesn't make me too terribly happy. So, we'll set that aside for now. And then we're also going to want to take off the gasket and put a new one on there. And at minimum, you're going to want to clean it. Yeah, this one's pretty... So, that's that. Now I'll show you guys what it looks like in here. You can see there's some deposits built up in there. I'd recommend using a wire brush, maybe some carb cleaner, uh, even a vacuum to vacuum out any sediment. You really don't want to suck that up into your intake. Not a good idea. So in part three, I will show you how to clean the EGR plate itself.